So yeah, I hear it all the time. People talk about how they don't find anything, they've done X number of runs from Andario, they haven't found their Shaco yet, they can't understand why they see all these people, whether they're making videos or streaming or whatever, and they find stuff all the time, especially YouTube videos, because people can crop out when they don't find items, and you only see the little clips when they do, and you think they find stuff all the time, and they play for one hour and find a bunch of good stuff. That's not necessarily how it is, but today I'm going to bring you what I think are the main reasons that you aren't finding anything here in Diablo 2 Resurrected. Now this is generally meant not to be putting people down or anything like that, but to kind of give you an idea of maybe what you're doing a little bit wrong and can kind of help you out finding the items that you're looking for or just finding good items in general faster. If this video does help you out, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe up so you never miss any of the Diablo 2 Resurrected content. Now let's get after it. Number one. So the very first reason that I hear, I see it in Facebook groups or Reddit groups, I see it in the comments on my videos, and that is specifically that you're just not doing enough runs. Now, I've seen comments, people, I've done 30 runs to Andaro, I still haven't found a Shaco yet, I still haven't found an SOJ yet. What is going on? This is taking forever. Well, the thing is, is that you might not realize the people when you see these awesome drops on YouTube or on Twitch and stuff, these people have been doing hundreds and hundreds and hundreds and hundreds, maybe even thousands of runs in order to get these good items, even more runs in order to get the high runes. You'll see people talk, yeah, some guy found two ohms and a Vex and a Zod on the same day. That is not normal. No matter what anybody says, you can comment down below. Oh, professional real good streamers actually find six high runes every day, Phil. You're just a dumbass. Well, actually, I don't believe you. Nobody finds multiple, multiple Zods in, in one day. It just is not true. So if you hear these people saying they find three Shakos every single day, don't believe them. You just need to do more runs. You need to play more. And I know everybody has lives. You got kids. You got jobs. You got wives telling you to get off the computer and get upstairs and go outside and cut the grass or whatever. But that's kind of the first reason here. You need to do more runs, get more gameplay in, and then you'll definitely find a better gear. Number two. So the second reason I'm going to mention here that why you're not finding the better gear, and it's going to seem super obvious probably to a lot, and that's that you need more magic find. Now magic find will increase the odds of you finding more uniques, more rare items, more set items, stuff like that. It does not affect rune drops, so if you're looking for runes, this isn't necessarily the reason why. But when you're trying to find, like everybody's always trying to find a Shaco for every single character in the entire game, you just need more magic find. There are some super basic ways to get magic find early on. My favorite is plugging topazes into a helm, and especially like day one ladder, I don't even necessarily wait to get perfect topazes. I will just plug in fla three flawless topaz into a three socketed helm just to get that magic find as soon as possible. The first hundred magic find is astronomically useful for your character. Another way you can obviously plug topazes into a four socketed armor. That's another way to get magic find or you can get a little bit of magic find making things like a rhyme shield. So that's super basic early on how to get magic find. And later on, you can definitely stack that magic find up, up, up and really help out finding that good gear later. Number three. The next reason here of why you're not finding good items is you have too much magic find. Huh? Yeah, I know, I know. I just said you needed more magic find, but there are instances and there's really a lot of cases where if you prioritize getting more magic find a lot, you're gonna sacrifice too much whether it is faster cast rate, whether it's damage, you know, essentially the things that assist you in kill speed and clear speed of monsters, you're gonna be sacrificing too much of that to get magic find. So if you're stacking 700% magic find, but it's taking you, you know, nine minutes to go kill Andariel one time, that's not gonna benefit you. Really, once you get over, we'll say early, early on, if you get over 100 magic find, from then you want to prioritize kill speed a little bit later, maybe you can get two or 300 magic find. You don't really need to get more than like 350 or 400. Above that is almost worthless. So unless you're doing a specific type of build like a pit zerker, where you can stack all that magic find and it doesn't really affect your kill speed at all. Really, once you get to 300 or something, you don't really want to worry about going too high above that. 
though early on the first and bit of magic find you get you're going to want to use that it's going to help you out a ton getting 100 150 but don't try to push your luck too much because really at that point you just want to move faster you want to kill monsters faster and you want to have more gear drop to give you more chances to find those good items number four So probably the biggest reason why you're not necessarily finding things but then you watch YouTube videos and people streaming and they find way more stuff and that's because you are farming in a game by yourself and these streamers and YouTubers are playing in full games or they go on player 7 difficulty on single player because on player 7 or 8 having more people in the game will increase the drops that you get from monsters. Now there are different instances like let's say you're running the pits specifically farming for uniques then it is okay to do it on players one difficulty we'll say thresh shock and pindle they're not bad to do on players one difficulty but most places you're doing the cow level you're doing the chaos sanctuary you want to have a much higher player difficulty when running those places if you're specifically trying to find high runes which hey who isn't trying to find high runes right bro you want to play it on the highest difficulty setting that you can and difficulty setting i just mean with the most players in the game or if you're playing single player you can do the slash players command and increase the player's difficulty the monsters will get harder but it will increase the number of items that drop and massively increase the amount of runes that you find so i don't know if you've ever seen something like this before you'll be in a cow game and you'll look at the party screen you'll see one guy out at trav you'll see a guy out at the frigid highlands Another guy will be down killing Mephisto perhaps, one guy will be at Lower Kuras. They do this because when you join a game that is full, you can then go magic find other locations, you have the higher player difficulty, and then you can actually find way more like high runes at Trav and Lower Kuras, or even out at the Frigid Highlands, you just have a way better chance of finding runes and better items. So if at all possible, make sure you farm in a game with other people. A lot of times, like myself, I do this occasionally too, especially early on, you will farm solo and you can definitely find good stuff that way because the monsters are weaker, so it will be easier. It's actually might be too hard for you to farm with seven or eight people in the game, but you will find less items, so make sure you take that into consideration. Number five. So this next one here, it's going to be controversial, I know. But the reason you aren't getting the good items that you're looking for is because you're not using these trade websites like all the other people that you're seeing online or on YouTube and Twitch and things like that. Now there's websites like D2JSP, there's Tradery where you straight up just find people to trade items for items. But no matter what you're using, a lot of times these people you see with their completely decked out characters they didn't find all those items, I guarantee you. What they did was find these random good items that they didn't really need, and they traded them for the good items that they did need. So I don't know if any of you have ever played a Holy Grail, probably not if you're thinking that you haven't found the good items that you're looking for, because sometimes there's the items, you just will never, ever, ever find them. I was playing Diablo 2 doing my Holy Grail for over two years, and there's like 20 items I have never found. Some of them aren't even really that rare. But there is a complete luck aspect to the game. No matter what you do, you could do absolutely anything right. But you just might never, ever, ever find a jaw rune. You might never, ever find a burr rune. It might happen. But the odds of you finding absolutely, literally nothing is astronomically small. You need to really be trading and it is so hard. It is so difficult and such a waste of time really, to be trading in-game, making games, no one ever joins, you make another game, nobody ever joins. It is really almost required nowadays that you trade on some sort of website to meet up with people in order to get those good items. Number six. And now, probably the most important one, in my opinion, why you're not finding anything is, don't worry about it, you're comparing yourself to everybody else now I know I got kids you probably got kids you got jobs you got mortgages I understand how it is not everybody can play seven hours a day like these people who are professional streamers or professional YouTube people so don't compare yourself to them and also don't compare yourself to Joe schmuck on the internet who's saying he found nine Zod runes one day they're probably lying. Don't believe random assholes on the internet. So people, if you're really not being able to have as much time to keep up with other people, 
if you're not being able to play for a bunch of hours a day and you want to compare yourself to those people, I would suggest to you, honestly, I would suggest go and play single player. Single player, you never have a ladder reset. There's never some economy that you have to deal with. Oh, I just got ripped off trading for this or that. Honestly, single player is way more fun than a lot of people really give it credit for. It's the exact same game, but actually magic finding and farming is slightly easier because you don't have to search and search and search for these full games to play in. You can just type in player seven difficulty and you instantly found yourself a game with the maximum number of players in it. It also is slightly faster to magic find because you have the static maps. If you're gonna go farm Andaro, well, once you run it one time, you can just open up the map and bam, oh, you go up here and you turn here and there's the way down. You go to the next level, oh, you go left and go up a little bit, you're down, boom, you're farming in Daryl again. And that way, you never lose your items for any ladder reset or anything like that. You never have to worry about keeping up with other people. You can just play at your own pace. You keep the good items you find forever. And it is actually way more rewarding when you do find that item. Nothing's more depressing than being two weeks till the end of a ladder and you find a burr rune and it's worth almost nothing because nobody cares. Everything's gonna get reset in two weeks anyways. And then everyone's gonna start all over again and then that burr rune will be worth a bajillion gazillion dollars, but the one you found two weeks ago is worth nothing. But on single player, finding your first jaw and your first burr in order to make a single player enigma that you made your completely yourself, it is an amazing, great feeling. So hopefully these tips were helpful. If you like them, make sure you check out these videos up over here. YouTube knows you're gonna like those videos as well. Peace out. Don't forget, keep slaying.